Hi everyone. Uh, hi everyone, Tori here. Yeah, today I'm going to be uh, reacting, <laughs> if you will, to the new trailer that just released. I mean, I just found it online today. I mean, I didn't play anything for a while. But that's not important. What is important is the new game mode looks like Riot has finally announced it. I'm honestly excited to play it because. Let's be honest, um, League has been stagnating for ages. Ever since Season 9 it started falling off, and, I mean no, ever since Season 9 it, it, became, it became, like, meh, and then it became unplayable in Season 10, and then it just became slightly better in Season 11, but still bad, and the worst part is, I believe the main reason is because there's barely any game modes. The best part about Season uh, 11, I think, yeah, I think it was Season 11. <coughs> You know, the one where, where that Ruination came out. Uh, yeah, that one. 2021. Uh, it actually did inc introduce uh, Ultimate Spellbook, which is really good, and despite the fact it's good, um, the Koreans at Riot decided not to put it back. I don't really understand the reasoning behind this. But, I mean, maybe it's coming back, but to be honest, here's the thing. I want Arena to be a success. It really should be, because it's a breath of fresh air, and, and I've watched a couple a couple of videos of it. It's so much, like so much fun. So yeah, I decided to react to, to I decided to make a reaction to this, um, to this video, Life in the Arena Soul Fighter event trailer. Uh, now Soul Fighter is, I believe, the reason it's called that is because it's a nod to the the South Korean capital of Seoul. I mean, I think it's the only reason it's there. They could have easily picked a different name, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter. As long as it's fun, that's all that matters. Let's get it going. Very fancy intro right there. Please make that legendary skin. That Samira skin looks awful. That's the new champ, I believe. Got everything a soul powered man needs. Fast paced, crazy gameplay, even crazier augmented action, and more. It's no wonder everyone wants a day. Remember, this is limited time. Oh, uh, I think I just saw something cool. Let's go back and see it. Oh, cool! I'll tell you why it's cool. It's um, Sophia right here. She's using both of her ultimates combined. So the Koreans are actually deciding to bring back all their content. Like, actually decide to bring back all their content. That's awesome. And from what I've seen, for the limited footage of this mode, I, of this game mode, I did see. It looks like they're bringing back items such as Sanguine Blade. I don't know what to say other than I'm excited. After tomorrow, it's coming out after tomorrow and I'm excited to play it. But the fact that Blade Waltz and... I don't know, I always for, and I always forget... <laughs> despite the fact I play Fiora often, I always forget her, uh, her ultimate's name. Uh, that's, that's brilliant. Good job. Okay, so 
Ah, I see. So disrupting the fight ostensibly means that the champions who are basically NPCs. It's kind of like Zerath from Ascended. Or from Ascension, my bad. It's kind of like Zerath from Ascension. Where you can interact with them. But I'm not sure how it's going to work here. I don't know if you can kill these guys or something, but that... Uh, I sadly don't have enough space for on my computer to play the PBE. So for as much as I really want to play this mode, I don't think I can, but that that's not a problem. It's launching in two days. I can wait. Because, I mean, waiting can make this kind of more cathartic, in a way. And more exciting as well. But I can't wait. But I'm pretty sure that once it li launches on live servers, I'm going to be playing this mode, like, every day. Um, I mean, it's, I mean... Uh, no, I've heard that it's a much shorter, much faster paced game than the actual <laughs> League of Legends we, we've been, I've been playing for six years. That's awesome. Just remember to get your prestige up if you want to train with someone. Is that the new fighting game? Is that the... Is that really the new fighting game they're working on? Ah, uh, yes. I'm excited, guys. I mean, so I'm, I honestly can't wait. So, first of all, there are a multitude of, well, typically you say red flags when you see bad things, but I'm not sure if you can say blue flags when you say the opposite. I mean, unless I'm going by Fire Emblem logic where the blues are always the good guys and the reds are always the bad guys and stuff like that. Um, I'm just gonna say this. This mode looks awesome. I mean, I can't imagine, <laughs> but, I mean, this is gonna be, a, like, the most fun thing ever. And I, from what I've heard, there is a ranked system. What this means is, what this basically means, is that, uh, you could, potentially duel up with a buddy, and try to crush everyone. And, uh, it's kind of difficult to win in this mode. So, if they ever create a ranked mode for this, they have to be much more generous with LP losses, because you go because more often than not, you're probably going to be losing more. Since there is now a 25% chance of winning, as opposed to a 50% chance of winning. Because there are four teams instead of two. That's why 2v2v2v2. Two 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 two. Some people make the meme that... Some people have memed that... So that you say 2v2v2 two 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 thousands of times. And then they make it basically just... Uh, put it like 20... 25... Uh, 26 plus players into the, into the match. That'd be pretty funny. But no. Eight players... Eight player mode... Uh, four teams. That is a fantastic premise. And... Here's the thing. If this mode does well... Um... Uh, Riot might finally do take some creative liberties that they should have been doing for ages. This mode should have been a mainstay for years. I'm serious, it should have been a mainstay for years. It shouldn't have just um, been ignored for so long. But like, and the fact it took them so long to release it, uh, but the fact they got by summer is uh, a lot better than usual. Like, the Scarlet rework has been in development for years, and it's clear the Koreans aren't even working on it because they're too lazy. But they find, but it's it's possible they put all of their hard work into this. There are multiple kinds of arenas. Like let's look at them. All right, so there's a blue, um, there's a blue ice theme. There's a there's a blue ice snow theme one. There is a, um, I think that's very similar to Nexus Blitz because look at the uh, um, the, re the red brush uh, there is a desert there is a desert themed one desert themed map I don't know about you but that looks, inc that looks incredible I think this is the starting area I've seen in these uh, in these videos I'm not sure where this is but that's besides the point and uh <coughs> And honestly, I believe the NPCs, the neutral enemy, the neutral champions, uh, are only going to make the gameplay even more exciting. Because 
Now you have to try to use them in your favor. I mean, I, I, I'm just speculating here. Also, let's think about all the kinds of all kinds of team comps you can come up with. <laughs> like, I mean, the one I've always wanted to play was was um was Riven and Gragas or something like that. Like that'd be, that'd be so much fun. Like, yeah, that'd be so much fun. I can't help but imagine this, um, how sad it, how and then you can do things like um, now like say um, um, Yon and Yasuo or something like that. Um, I think enchanters might suck in this mode, even though they're so broken and summoners rift. Um, I think champions like Nautilus might not be good unless you, might not be good unless you have some kind of Lucian or highly mobile ADC to peel for or something. I don't really know. I don't know if it's a good idea to play um, uh, Thresh and Nautilus on the same team. I mean, I know Thresh does good damage, but Nautilus's damage got, got nerfed all the time. So yeah, I think there's some good and bad team comps, but this is what's so fun about this mode. You can now experiment with much smaller team comps. And the fact that you have way more things to play around with, like, I've heard there are creative runes, like, I'm, I'm not really sure. I'm, but that's why I'm so excited. Like, the possibilities are endless. Anyway, um, my heart goes out. Uh, Hats off to all of you at Riot who actually decided to develop this game mode. It means the world to us. Uh, I can't wait to try this. And this is probably the 15th time I've said this. Anyway, with that said. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this um, um, reaction. And have a good day.